Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm actually going to work in Worlds of Wonder and I'm going to work a bit on one of these little tickets on this page here. Now some of you might have seen me do one of these before but it's actually in a different book and I could not find that particular copy so I'm just going to start on this blank page. So it's the little mushroom one that I've done before. But today we're going to do this little babushka doll and I want to go with kind of, I don't know, can I call them my signature tones? So I want sort of the ochre yellow colors in here and I want some nice dark red tones. So I'm just starting out here with my polychromos pencils and I'm just going to make the top of this doll red and I'm going to do the bottom part in black just because obviously they do open up and there's often like a distinct difference between the top part and the bottom part. So for the shadows here on the red area, I'm going to use my Caput Mortem Violet. Now if you have a smaller set of polychromos, you might not have this color. You can go with the plain Caput Mortem or you could even go in with a dark sepia or one of the dark, um, darker shades of warm grey. They usually work well on top of the red.
Now for shading on the hair, I find that a light brown often works really well on those ochre tones. So I'm just gonna go in just on alongside the outline here with the Bista color. And it's just enough just to give that little bit of a hint of a shadow without going too dark on it. So for the little leaves in here, I'm just going to use my standard combination of green. So this is the earth green yellowish. It's the only green that I've got that does not have any writing left on it. So I'm just going to cover all the leaves in this color and then I'm going to go and work my way up with my darker shades of the permanent green olive and my chrome oxide green. So I'm using this middle cadmium red for pretty much all my red tones in this little, this little picture. So I'm going in now on the flower and I'm going darker on the inner edges and then lightening my pressure as I'm coming out towards the edge of the petals. And I'll go in, I'm thinking of adding in a little bit of the beige red afterwards just to kind of get rid of a bit more of the white outlines and it'll still give us a nice gradient. Now I reckon while I've got this one out, I'm just going to go over and do exactly the same on this little top part of the doll as well. It's I'm kind of, I'm, I'm pushing down a little bit harder now and I'm sort of burnishing a bit here. I don't often burnish a lot, but I think here, this is a sort of a quick and easy piece and I just wanted to make sure we have a limited amount of white shining through. So I want this little bow here to be white so I'm just going in with a little bit of the grey here and just to get a little bit of dimension to it I'm not going to go too crazy though
Now with this black, it does take a while to get a really good coverage. So don't worry too much about what I'm doing. Just focus on your own picture if you're following along and just keep going and layer and layer until you have that nice dark black. I might even go in after this and add a bit more black. We'll see what we do afterwards. You can also, if you're finding that you're not getting it dark enough to your liking, you could use a uh, black, like a little felt tip pen or something like that, and um, like a line marker or something like that, and you can add that on top if you want to. So for this background, I've started with my Naples yellow, but as you can see, I'm not bringing it completely out to the edges because I want to have a little bit darker color sort of on the very outer edge of this little square here. So I'm just going nearly out, but not quite. And I'm going to leave, I'm going in very light as well. I'm using a very light hand and I can always build up more color. But I want this to be darker around the edges and then lighten as it comes in towards the back of the little babushka doll.
So you can kind of start to see that bit of a gradient from that light to dark, dark to light in here now that I've got this light yellow ochre in there. I'll probably end up having to go in with even darker. I'm thinking possibly either some terracotta or maybe I'm just I'll just go straight to like the burnt ochre or something like that just in the outer edges just to give it even more dimension. I ended up choosing the burnt ochre for the outer edges here so we'll see how dark we can get this and again if I need it even darker I'll do like I do on my gold colors because this is kind of the same sort of set of colors that I use when I color gold and I'll go in with some um, burnt sienna I think they they tend to work really well with the ochre colors and it's great for shading for those
So I'm just going to do a last layer with the Naples yellow, but I'm not going to bring it all the way in to the doll there. I'm leaving a little bit of a gap where I've just got the one, the original layer of the Naples yellow. I just want it nice and light in there and uh, I think this is working out really well. So I'm going to go back to my middle cadmium red for this very outer area of the ticket and then behind the stars I've decided to go with the black again. I think it's sort of nice, it'll bring in all the colours from a little babushka and I think it's going to look nice and cohesive and the picture's going to make sense. I really do like these little wins pictures and I'm really excited about Johanna's new book that's coming out later this year that's going to be all little wins so I think it's very handy if you've got a limited amount of time to color like you can sit down if you have an hour you can still find like you're finishing off a, a project so that's very handy with these little things you can take your time and you can play around with some techniques and you've kind of feel like you're not messing up a whole big picture if you <laughs> not, if things don't quite turn out the way you want it, if that makes sense. So like I always do, I'm layering up 
nice and slowly here. I'm going in light. I have a really sharp point on my pencil and just layering this Caput Mortem Violet on top of my Middle Cadmium Red here. I'll go back in with more of the Middle Cadmium Red after this, but I just want to get that little bit of a shading happening and get a bit of shape to this little ticket. So I'm pushing down a little bit harder now and I'm putting a little bit more pigment down on the paper. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go nearly down to the center of this ticket but not quite. I'm just going to leave a little bit and as I'm getting closer to the center there where it goes in a bit I'm just going to loosen up my pressure just a little so we're sort of fading out the color.
So I'm just going to do like I did on the rose and on the top of the babushka and I'm going to get my beige red out and I'm sort of going to burnish a little bit on that lighter part and I'll still get that red tone but by not using a white to burnish with I'm not sort of lightening the colour too much.
So I think with the background mostly done now, I'm just going to lay down that last bit of black behind these stars here. And I'm just going to keep going until I feel like I've got a good coverage. As I mentioned, if you're finding that really hard, I know, especially with polychromos, the, uh, the pencil is quite translucent, so it will take quite a lot of layers here to get a really nice even coverage. Yes, I probably could just go ahead and push down really hard, but at the same time, by building it up slower, I feel like I'm going to get a much nicer and more even coverage as well. So I'm still doing my layers. Now, if you don't want it to take this long, go ahead and grab a black fine liner and just do it with that. It's going to probably save you a bit of time, but you know, it's up to you what you want to use. I'm starting to get there. I'll probably add a couple of more layers off camera. Just how many layers do you need to watch me add of just pure black? 
so I'm not doing anything else exciting I might just add in a little bit more black maybe on the bottom of the babushka as well just to darken it up a little bit more and I think that's nearly done I think I might just add actually I want to add a little bit of shadow around the ticket I think as well I'm thinking let's do some shadows on the bottom part and on the right hand side and I'll leave the left hand side and the top without a shadow like on the white part so uh, that way it will look like it's sort of sitting a little bit above the paper so I'm just going to go in with my warm grey full and just use more and less pressure just going in first nice and light and then I'll add a bit more pressure just around the very edge of the ticket there so I'm going light and pulling that out a little bit and then yeah dark forward sort of around where the black outline is I think we're doing pretty good now just finishing off and what do you think I think this is looking pretty good I like that we used a relatively limited color palette here not too many pencils and you could easily do this with very similar colors if you have a smaller set of the polychromos as I said if you don't have the Naples yellows or the ochres just go ahead and use your oranges and your yellows that you have in a smaller set so thank you all for watching i hope you have a colorful day and i will see you again next time <music>